Plopsaland Japan, which for the rest of this video I will be just referring to as Plopsaland, has been one of Belgium's best theme parks for a while, with their standout coaster being a Gerslauer launch roller coaster called Anubis. But in 2021, that will all change, as they are adding a Mock Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster, which is the topic for today's video. I will be analyzing the coaster and giving my full thoughts on it in today's video, so let's get into it. Despite an official name or theme not having been released, yet, they have released an official animation and stats for the coaster, so that is what I will be referring off of. But first, let's just get into the basics. This will be a Mock Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster, just like Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City, which was the first of this model. But this coaster will be taller, faster, and longer, with a max height of 108 feet, a max speed of 56 miles an hour, and a length of 3,018 feet, and it will also feature five inversions and and two launches. Those are pretty impressive stats regardless of the coaster, but add in the fact that this coaster will have spinning cars and you have one amazing roller coaster. But now let's get into the official on-ride POV that has been released. You dispatch from the station and immediately enter a Heartline roll. This is taken so slowly that it is sure to provide an immense amount of hang time. After that, you slide into your first launch where you come to a stop for a few seconds before boosting out and reaching your top speed. This launch won't be super intense, but it'll still be fun as you are spinning. After that, you rise up into a really funky top hat that has a weird turn at the top. Then you enter a vertical drop that's right over some water. You then enter into your second inversion, a banana roll. These are always fun and fairly whippy. You then traverse your third inversion, a vertical loop. These are pretty standard and always pretty fun. After that, you whip through a zero-g roll and now you are right up against the ground over the water. After a funky turn, you then drop down into your second launch. You boost up again to a fairly fast speed before whipping into a flying snake dive. These are awesome elements and surely one of the best on the ride. After that, you fly into a low-to-the-ground airtime hill before one more turn that sends you into two more airtime hills before flying right into the brakes. As far as layouts go for spinning coasters, I don't think that there is one that could beat this at all. And even for coasters, that are non-spinning, this one still has an amazing layout. It passes over water, stays low to the ground, and has some high above the ground moments too. This will just be one all-around completely awesome ride, and it will surely be one of the best coasters in Belgium. At the time of recording, it is unsure if these cars will spin freely or have a controlled spin, but either way, this coaster will still be awesome, and I think that it would be a great ride even without the spinning, but since it does have the spinning, that just makes it even better. And I honestly think that this could be one of the best roller coasters coming in 2021. And it is sure to be a slam dunk addition for Plopsaland, and hopefully more small parks follow in Plopsaland's footsteps and add these awesome spinning coasters. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you think of the brand new Mock Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster coming to Plopsaland in 2021 in the comments down below. But be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.